Good morning, it's Wednesday the 29th of June and this is your Daily Outlook. The euro remains firm against its major counterparts on optimism that the Greek Parliament will approve the new austerity package at 12 GMT later today. Today's vote is a crucial moment for Greece as well as the eurozone as failure to vote in favour of the plan may lead to a Greek default. The five-year austerity plan includes further tax hikes and deep spending cuts agreed by the EU and the IMF which will secure a second round of financial aid for Greece. The single currency is also supported by interest rate high expectations as hawkish comments by the ECB president Jean-Claude Trichet signalled a July rate hike. Against the dollar, the euro gained 1.6%, climbing to 143.96 from 142.37. The US dollar is weaker against a basket of currencies today on an improved risk appetite in the market. Consumer confidence data revealed a lower than expected figure, the lowest in eight months. Against the safe haven Japanese yen, the dollar jumped to 81.26 from 80.65 on higher US Treasury yields. Sterling plummeted to a five-month low versus the dollar as the Bank of England policymakers expressed a dovish tone, keeping alive the prospect of additional quantitative easing. The comments disappointed investors who were expecting a tightening of the monetary policy by the end of the year. The Bank of England policymakers emphasised on their concerns over the UK economic slowdown, while annual gross domestic product was revised down in the first quarter. Versus the dollar, sterling dipped to 159.11 and then recovered some of its losses to trade at 160.44. Oil prices edged higher at $93.11, a barrel from $90.43. Gold rose to $1,506.14 an ounce from $1,495.44. Silver also ticked higher at $34.19 an ounce from $33.51. Now let's take a look at the currencies to watch out for. The euro dollar pivot point is at 143.25, with a preference to enter into long positions at 143.25. The dollar yen pivot point is at 80.85, with a preference to enter into long positions at 80.85. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 105, with a preference to enter into long positions at 105. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 159.60, with a preference to enter into long positions at 159.60. And the dollar CAD pivot point is at 0.9845, with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9845. Let's take a look now at commodities. The oil pivot point is at 89.90, with a preference to enter into long positions at 89.90. The gold pivot point is at 1.490, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1.490. And the silver pivot point is at 33.50, with a preference to enter into long positions at 33.50. Now, today's calendar of market movers. We have the Europe Consumer Confidence in June forecast to fall to minus 10. Canada Consumer Price Index in May forecast to gain 0.2%. And US Pending Home Sales in May forecast to gain 0.8%. Now, on to equity markets. Use equities were positive on Tuesday, with the SP500 trading up 1.29% and the Dow was up 1.21%. European bursts were also positive, with the FTSE up 0.78%, the DAC was up 0.88% and the CAC was up 1.46%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.22% and the Hang Seng was up 0.32%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.